Now, Eyewitness Sports, eight-time winner of the PAB's Excellence in Broadcasting Award. After splitting the first two, the Iron Rail series is heating up as it heads into Game 3. The Bacon are trying to maintain the top spot while the Riders are looking to get back to 500. First frame, Riders come out hot. Newly named All-Star Brandon Drury crushes this ball to deep center field. A solo home run to put the Riders on the board. But Bacon have the swift answer. Another All-Star, Joey Manessis, drills this ball up the middle for a two-run single to give the Iron Pigs the lead. Then in the top four, the Rail Riders strike again. Billy McKinney rips a long ball over the wall and left to put the Riders within one run. But top eight, Alexia Amarista adds some insurance with an RBI single. Bacon get the win four to two. And with that, the Iron Pigs now own the best record in the International League. Moving on to their big league clubs, also going head to head, Yankees looking to complete the three game sweep in Philadelphia. Bottom two, no score until Reese Hoskins steps up and steps out. He hammers a three run jack to right and puts the fills on the board early. And Zach Eflin would help take care of the rest. Giancarlo Stanton just watching that one go by to the end of the inning. And Phils take the final game of the series with a three to nothing win. Back in New York, the Mets looking for win number two in a row over the Pirates. And in the top nine, the Mets are three outs away from three to one win, but talk about a meltdown. David Freeze knocks in the tying and go ahead runs, and they would tack on one more just for some cushion. Pirates rally in the ninth for a five to three win. In other baseball news, outfader Jason Worth has announced his retirement. After seven years with Washington, the 39-year-old signed with Seattle in 2017. He was playing with AAA Tacoma when he made that decision. Worth helped lead the Nationals to four playoff appearances, but more importantly, he was part of the Philadelphia Phillies World Series squad in 2008 and was named an All-Star in 2009 with 36 home runs and 99 RBIs. King's College might be on break for the summer, but Scanlon Gymnasium is packed as it hosts the 16th annual J.P. and Draco basketball camp. About 100 local boys ages 8 to 16 are participating in the five-day clinic put on by Monarchs men's basketball coach J.P. and Draco. He just finished his 17th season at King's and says it's important to help kids develop by stressing both fundamentals and fun. What we try to do is the same thing all the time. Um, we try to teach the kids some fundamentals of the game. You know, we want them to come in and learn things the right way. Uh, we want them to have fun. You know, at this age, young age, they should be playing the game because they love it and they're having a good time with it. Um, it's the reason that we all started playing, so we get them to do the same thing. And finally, we want them to make friends. I've been coming to this camp because it's a lot of fun, and they teach like all the drills here on dribbling, rebounding, and shooting. And it's been helping me. I won the championships after coming here, and it's really helped me out with basketball. This is the first of two camps this summer. There's still room in the July clinic, and you can find out how to sign up on the Kings Athletics website. And in today's World Cup action, a shocking end for the defending champions. That's right, Germany needed a win over South Korea, but can you believe it? In stoppage time, the Koreans deliver a dagger on the corner kick. Then, a few minutes later, they score on an empty net. Humiliation for Germany as they fall 2-0. This is the earliest exit for the Germans in the World Cup since 1938. And here's a look at the other games from today. Sweden beats Mexico 3-0, but with the German defeat, both of those teams advance. Brazil locks up its spot in the next round with a 2-0 win over Serbia. And Switzerland moves on in a 2-2 draw with Costa Rica. We'll be right back.